e wa kilimo bwana Mwangi Kyunjuri amefika mbele ya kamati ya bunge la seneti ya kilimo hapo anajiwa kuhusiana na masuala mbalimbali na uhusiano na kilimo na hasa yale malipo ya wakilimo katika bonde la ufa hebu tuwasikize 56 4.26 That answers the question on how much maize was received by strategic food reserve. And that raises a new question. It's okay. On page 6, you say you imported 10,375,260, approximately 10.4. Mm. On page 7, you allocated imported maize amounting to 10 million five hundred and seven eight fourteen is there an additional importation that has not been captured that one you see the discrepancy is about two hundred thousand it uh, is a lot it's two hundred thousand that one can be looked at it's a two hundred thousand um, we can check on the discrepancy but it's uttering to about 10 million 375 and okay. to 10,507. That discrepancy then can be explained. That can be explained because by the end of the day, the records are with the Kenya Revenue Authority. Any bug that rather did the country is registered. The information is with Kenya uh, Revenue Authority. They can be able to clarify this. We can be able to balance the books. But it is worth noting that by the time we are opening stores, we only had 653,426 bags of maize, of which to date we still have 240,000 in our stores. Where they were distributed, we can issue that list from Sagana. Uh, Kanjiando, we can be able to provide lists of where this was kept. If you allow me to continue, we have an X file now which we discarded and replaced with the new information I gave. The last question uh, the action taken by the ministry in regards to the contaminated maize currently in national studios and produce stores. Again, I've given a summary of the test results for maize drawn from national studios and produce board go down, Cyrus. The Kenya Bureau of, Stat of Standards carried out a, a quality analysis of maize in the national studios and produce board stores as directed by the Senate Ad Hoc Committee on Maize. The dry, uh, the dry maize was graded into three grids based on the following parameters. You can look down there, there are more than 10 parameters. But if you look at table one, uh, comprising maize, there is grid one, grid two, and grid three. And uh, I've come with the Kenya Bureau of Standards. My team is there and Carol so that they can be able to explain if you need any further explanation. On table two, that means in table one, a total of one million bags of the 2.8 million samples passed the tests, that is the high grid, according to Kenya National Bureau of Standards. Table two means that did not meet their standards requirements. And this is the question when it comes to their standards requirements. And when it comes to the standards required for human consumption, which they are not the authority. The authority on the maize to be consumed is the health. About grid, their authority, and that is what we also do. On table two, you can see, for example, discolored maize, 974,565. If you look at discolored plus other defects, 669, 
1,500,532. Total of 1,644,297. According to the summary that you received from Kenya uh, case, it that that 7% of the samples was okay. In 63, they had advised, uh, according to the report, that they needed be for them they advised that uh, what was the statement they had said it was degraded. for them it is now up to the ministry of health to look at it for example discarded maize to the standards of a, 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 a public health it is still good for consumption and therefore we cannot say that this maize is not good for human consumption. On table three, and I read there, the maize in the two above has been downgraded for other uses. The discarded maize that is not contaminated with the mic microtoxins is fit for human consumption. Are we together so far? Yes. Are fit for human consumption and will be sold for milling, animal feeds, manufacturing of other uses. The discarded maize with other defects and not contaminated with aflatoxin is fit for animal feeds, manufacturing, and will be sold for the animal feeds manufacturers and other uses once approved by the Strategic Food Reserve Oversight Board. On three, microtoxin contaminated maize the types of contaminated, that is aflatoxin, there are 62,285 bags of maize, and uh, phonomycin, fumonycin, we have 93,134, meaning we have 155,419 bags. Micro, micro, uh, mycotoxin contaminated maize should be condemned. The ministry has already segregated it and initiated the process of reconfirming the status of their contaminated maize. The Kenya Agriculture Livestock Research Organization and the Kenya Plant Health Inspectorate Units are independently sampling and testing the same consignment for aflatoxin and few money seen to confirm the status. Azir, before we come back to you, there was a gentleman from Bureau of Standards. Uh, I have uh, issues to raise with you. You recall you sent us a report uh, last week. Do you remember? Uh, are you aware of the report, though? Yes, uh, we are aware. You are aware of the report? Yes. That came from the field? Yes. Okay. Yes. Senator, you can ask your question. And uh, what the minister has uh, read to us is also from you? Yes. Now, there's a serious variance in terms of quantum. If you look at uh, your earlier report, which you should have, and the statement from the minister just now, and look at uh, the mycotoxin contaminated maize. From your earlier report, Makweni alone was suffering from this contamination of fumonicins of 227,000 bags. Makwen only, before we look at other places, and you cited close to nine, ten stations that had these contaminations. Now you are downgrading the, the, the quantum to almost nothing. And this is not very good for the integrity of your institution and yourself and the safety of the country. Can you explain? This we can't blame the minister. He's only reading what you gave him. And it's good you are here. From your earlier record, it showed that you had found contaminations all over. In fact, Nakura, I think, had the largest 29,000 
928 kg of maize. If you break that down to 90 kg bags, you know what you get. Uh, sir, uh, through the chair, uh, we were with him in the committee yesterday. I asked the question to him. Okay. Let him ask you to assist him if he wants. Let him answer first. You are from cereals, aren't you? Yes. Yes, you are not a, a scientist or an expert. We are asking the scientist. No, for clarification, yes. she is the one in charge of our quality, meaning she is an expert. She is a quality assurance person of cereals. Can you yes. describe yourself, please? Yes. Um, we are studying you, but you are cereals. We are seeing there is a body that the government has entrusted with quality testing, and that is the money results from here. And we said everything must be tested. Is it that cereals? That's a clarification I'm giving. Yeah. They are the ones that should be able to explain the question. Yeah. But for clarification, she should be after. After. She can only what you say. Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, I, I think uh, if we can go to the report from CAPS, 